Oh god, strike. Wait, I have one out already? Whoa, I hit that? Hold on, this guy who just threw the ball, who's now out, he just... Wait, what happened? What? <laughs> what the fuck was that? Welcome back to another episode of Saturday Afternoon Gaming. I'm your host, Gaming J, and today we're jumping into the Cyber Stadium series. Oh, wow, that title screen went fast. Uh, this game is the Cyber Stadium series game, Base Wars, uh, and we are playing this game because of sports, because the Super Bowl is right around the corner, so I figured, what the heck, let's play some sports games to uh, honor the time of year, I guess. Um, as you can see, this is a uh, baseball game where you get to play as freaking cyborgs. Some, that guy was a hoverbot. I think it was called Flybot. And he has like hovering technology. This guy's just a straight up cyborg. He's just uh, a robot made in the image of man. We saw like a tank man. Uh, uh, speak of the devil, here's tank man. I always really loved Tank Man as a kid. I always thought it was, like, awesome. Like, I had treads for feet. Uh, there's Motorcycle Man, which is awesome, too. I mean, those guys would actually be super impractical. It's always better to have legs than wheels for, uh, you know, locomotion. Hovering would be okay. The Hover Tank guy, he'd probably be okay. But anyway, this is a Konami classic, a futuristic robo-baseball game where ro robots destroy each other. Kind of like uh, Cyberball, which we played uh, over uh, the previous Thanksgiving, but this is baseball theme. So without further ado, let's go ahead and press start here. The game keeps uh, teasing us, taunting us to press start by uh, running through that title sequence so quickly. Um, and we're finally going to take it up on it. So we can play open mode or pennant mode. I think pendant mode basically is tournament. I, I you know, I, I'll be totally honest, guys. I don't know sports terminology at all, but I'm assuming, you know, winning the pennant. I know that phrase from like TV shows and stuff, and I'm pretty sure it means like winning some kind of prolonged, extended tournament, kind of like a single-player campaign for baseball, if there were such a thing. We're just gonna go for uh, to play ball because we just want to kind of have some fun. Now we have different teams here. Uh, I'm kind of disappointed that the teams are real places, like San Francisco, Boston, and stuff. Like, if you're going to create a, a futuristic, a nightmarish futuristic world where baseball owners have grown tired of paying outrageous player salaries and have turned to robos to solve all their woes, you would think that they would come up with, like, you know, the, the Mega City Complex 1 team and, like, uh... You know, Cyborg Team 7-AB, you know, like, like, give me some futuristic names here, you know, like, the Federation of Humanoids uh, as another team, instead of, like, I mean, what is this team, the Horseheads? Um, this team looks kind of, it's like the Batteries. Must be this, we'll, th this will be, our team name is the Rechargeable Batteries. We'll take it. Oh, we're Chicago. <laughs> Chicago has man, and we're going up against, let's go up against California. Wait, 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 California's also man? Man versus man, this is not right. Um, let's just pick nine innings. Oh, we get to change this. All right, Chicago will be man, and California will be CPU. Now, I like to imagine that what this means is that California's team is run by a human, where, or, sorry, Chicago's team is run by a human, whereas California's is run by an advanced, uh, super advanced AI. Like, within the game, there is no human involved in the California team. It is a team of robots run by a super advanced AI. That's what we're going to go with. Um, I like how the baseball... Uh, I like how the robots still have names, by the way. Like uh, Jones, Walter, Greg. Why aren't they just robot number 7-A? Uh, we have flybots, tanks. We have a nice mix of people. We only have a couple cyborgs. Cyborgs are kind of the most boring of all the uh, robots because they just look like dudes. Boom! And I'm out. <laughs> Okay, so that was fast. Man, I like how the pitcher has like a cannon for an arm. Jeez. It's actually quite hard. Oh, three strikes and I'm out. My god, they're gonna they're gonna get me out right away, aren't they? I'm I'm not I'm not great at baseball games, guys. Oh my god, why am I swinging at every single pitch? All right, so there's the first inning. Wow, that went by like gangbusters. That was super fast. All right, now it's my turn. Yeah! Oh my god! Go, oh my god! Where is it going? 
Okay. Um, all right, well, that was, that, that was embarrassing. So I think the computer's gonna be way better at hitting the ball than me. Oh my god, where, where, where are there guys? Where's there a guy? Oh my god, <laughs> it's so bad. Go! All right, we're, we're currently down by two runs. We're in the, the very beginning of the first inning. It's a bad sign. Can we ding him? Can we just smack that guy with a- Oh, we got a home run too, my god. What, did his ball go off into space? Whoa, wait, wait, the arena is in space? There's a jet that's flying around. Home run, what? Okay, hold on, I was confused. I thought this was taking place on Earth. So teams from California and Chicago agreed to play baseball in like an orbiting satellite station? That's insane. Boom. Are you, are you crazy? What the heck? That was a foul, right? Boom! Oh my god. Okay, here's the problem. When they hit it into the outfield, I have no idea where my guys are. Like, that's that's just ridiculous. Oh my god. They, they're gonna get so many points on us. Alright, anyway, let's just enjoy the game here. Let's just enjoy the game. So this game is the first game um, in the Cyber ball series um and actually let's just run this i was gonna run it down to the pitcher's mound um actually you know like i i always thought as a kid that there was gonna be more than one cyber ball stadium series game like like they, it kind of sounds like there's going to be you know the uh, this game's its official title is cyber stadium series base wars and like i would have enjoyed a whole series a whole series. Oh, he's out. Yes. Oh, and now we get to fight. Now we get to fight. Yeah. Oh, I have a machine gun. Oh, my God. Eat that, buddy. <laughs> we just... I don't know what the hell happened there, but we machine gunned the guy on third base. Yes. This is why robots playing sports are better than humans. Because when there's a close call... So the whole thing of this game, which we finally just got to see, is that when there's a close call, rather than it just going, uh, you know, being resolved based on ability... Um, the robots actually sort of just do like a little trial by combat. They sort of let the gods decide their fate, uh, Game of Thrones style. So anytime there's like a dispute in what happens, the robots will literally pull out guns and laser swords and stuff and like literally try to murder each other. And we just got to witness that. So pro tip when you're assembling your baseball team, make sure the guy on third base, um, you know, the catcher, is armed with a submachine gun so that if there is trouble... He's the one who's bringing the heat, you know. Anyway, we have two outs so far, I think. So we can just get a third. Boom! Motorcycle guy catches it. All right. We are only down by five runs. Only. Um, and I have a lot of trouble hitting the ball. So let's see how this goes. Kaboom! Don't catch it, don't catch it, don't catch it! Oh, he didn't catch it! Sweet. All right. So I guess um, you could steal bases in this game if you're like really good at combat. Son of a bitch. Oh my god, why did I swing at that? Man, this, the, it's so fast. It's so fast, it's crazy. Oh my god. I, I think what I'm learning here is that I'm... Oh, come on. We don't get to fight that? There's no combat for that? Well, what? We're out! <laughs> it took two seconds. Oh my god. It's like the computer's turn when I'm pitching to the computer takes forever. Meanwhile, um, oh god. Meanwhile, when it's when it's my turn, I'm like out in like three pitches. Oh yeah, there you go. Maybe maybe the the problem is like I'm always going for like these power shots. Oh, I can't believe I missed that. Damn it. It's like my my only chance in this game is um my only chance is like catching the ball. Yes! Oh, I got it. And no! What? Why did you throw it all the way over there? I was trying to like. Oh God! I, I was trying to uh, like manually tap the guy, but I should have just tossed it to my basement. And then we could have. Uh, then we could have had a, a bit of a fight. Yes! Oh, and he's out. Oh, and the guy still got home. Or or is it switching? It's switching. Thank God they did not score. Okay, we're getting a little better. The first round was a learning round, guys. Oh, God, it's happening already. I, I was looking down for a second. I look up, and uh, there's, like, a ball being pitched to me. And I'm out. <laughs> Wait, how do you bunt? 
Can you bunt? Do robots bunt? Um, oh look, it, it it tells you the stats of your guy underneath. It said I was armed with a laser gun. This guy's also armed with a laser gun. Meyer, he has 400 hit points. And a laser gun. Where does he keep it? Oh my god. <laughs> Just out. Change! It takes no time at all. Oh my god. Okay, so I really like the idea of this game. I remember renting this game as a kid too, to be totally honest. And, uh... I do not remember it being this hard. I do not remember it being this hard. So I really love the idea of this game. I love the idea that it's, it's robots and stuff like this. And you get to fight when they're like close matches and stuff. But I, I would say it's like, it's shockingly... Ah, oh, four balls. It's shockingly hard to, um... He just got a home run, didn't he? Or I caught it! I, I, I don't know what happened. Okay, whatever. Um, it's shockingly hard to like get more action going on here. Maybe it's because I'm not very good at this game, but um, maybe it's because the game is hard. Where's my guy? Oh God, guy! Jeez. And you know what would be handy is some kind of like radar or indication of like where the heck your guy in the outfield is, because it's like fl when the ball flies towards the outfield, you're just like, I hope somebody's out there because I can't see. I don't have a wide enough view to see where anybody is. Oh man, I should have caught that. Um, so yeah, it's a lot harder. I feel like the computer, like, okay, where's my guy? I have no idea. Oh, it's a home run. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Jeez. Oh my god, the guy in the space station. They're just like, every time he like lands his jet after doing the home run run, he's like, all right, I'm done for the day. Like, yeah, just stay in your cockpit. Uh, trust me, there's gonna be another one in like 10 seconds. Um, ball. I don't even know like a good strategy to like mess with these guys. Okay, come on, catch it, catch it, son of a bitch. All right, boom. Okay, we got this, we got this. Where's my guy, where's my guy? Wh wh why were you down there, you fool? You freaking fool. All right, so we have learned that base wars is quite hard. Shoot, I gotta start throwing the ball to uh, to the bases when I catch stuff. Come on, come on, come on! Ugh, son of a bitch! No, why would you throw it all the way over there? Throw it to home, you fool! All right, the music, by the way, I don't know if you can hear the music too clearly, but it's awesome. This, of course, is a Konami game. Back when Konami was awesome and did produce awesome games. Um, it was published under the Ultra title, I think. So, uh, Nintendo had these, like, restrictions on how many games publishers could actually put out every year. Is this another home run? Wh like, where am I? It didn't even follow the ball. How was I possibly supposed to catch that? The camera, like, didn't even follow the ball. <laughs> it's so bad. Oh, my God. Uh, but, yeah, Nintendo had these restrictions on, like, uh, how many, um, how many games a publisher could make every year. So publishers would pretty much just um, create like sub labels. So Konami had Ultra. I think like Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the first one for Nintendo, was released under the Ultra banner. Um, so I mean, I always remember Ultra as like uh, a, you know a company that produced solid games when I was a kid. I had no idea they were Konami. I didn't I, I didn't sort of connect the dots, but they they definitely were. I'm pretty sure it even says Konami on the title screen of this game. Yeah, back when Konami made good games. And as I say, I remember renting this game as a kid. Where's my guy? Oh, God. You know what? They don't even need to get home runs. If they hit it into the outfield, it's, like, enough to, like, befuddle my team. This is this is just sad. Oh, God. They keep getting fouls, which is, like, the best I can hope for. It's, like, the best case scenario. Okay, come on. Where's, where's the guy? Where's the guy? Yes! He caught it. And... And we switch over. Oh, my God! They got... Oh no, they only got three. I was gonna say, they got eight on that? Oh no, they did get eight. Their total score is 13, 13-0. 13 that is ridiculous. We actually have a guy on first. You know what, my goal is, I I just want, I just want robot combat. That's literally all I want. Oh God, strike. Wait, one guy is out? This guy's armed with a handgun? Whoa, that was way all over the place. Hold on, this guy who just threw the ball, who's now out, he just... Wait, what happened? What? <laughs> what the fuck was that? Oh, man. 
This baseball AI is like dominating me. And if you ever wanted to see me lose at a video game, this is it, people. Buckle up. Buckle up for a ride. But anyway, I was talking about renting this game, and I remember renting it as a kid. I remember enjoying it. Um, and actually, one question I had for today is I wonder how it's going to hold up. Uh, turns out, not well, in the sense of it is brutal. It is brutal. I like the game, and I like the idea behind it. I suck at it. I just suck at it. Oh, come on! Ugh. I, I so badly want a robot fight. It's like all I want. I just, I just literally, is there a way to just... Is there a way to practice and just have robots fighting each other? Boom. Somebody catch the ball and get into a robot fight, damn it. Nothing. And they scored on us. Damn it. It sucks when the guy has like two outs and then he scores. Oh, come on. Uh, I don't even know. Just throw it, throw it anywhere. It doesn't really matter where it goes. Um... Renting a game was always so dicey when you were a kid, um, or when I was a kid at least, because, you know, I lived in an era before YouTube and all that stuff, you know, like I grew up playing the NES, and when you play the NES, you know, you might read about a game here and there in a magazine, but even reading about a game in a magazine, is anyone out there? Is anyone going for that ball? Oh my god, oh, he was in the, oh, he was in the upper right corner. If only I had some kind of indication of where the hell my guy was in the outfield, I could actually play this game. Um, but yeah, sometimes you'd read about a game like, uh, oh, son of a bitch, like in a magazine or something. So you have some sense of it, but even reading a review of a, mag of a game until you actually see a game played, it's, it's quite different. Um, and I think, I think that's like one big thing these days is that like with like YouTube and stuff and Let's Plays, people can get a much better sense of like what games are like before they play them. Um, and so, you know, for instance... Um, when I would... Oh, where, where's my guy? Where's my guy? Son of a bitch. When I would play games as a kid, or when I would rank games as a kid, like, all you had to go on was a cover box. Like, you, you would go, you'd look at the cover box of a game, and you'd be like, I don't know, it looks kind of cool. And the cover box for this game did look cool. And, uh, you would just sort of... Oh, God. The motorcycle guys have, like, momentum. Like, look. I don't know if you can see, but they kind of, like, speed up and slow down. It's actually really hard to catch. The motorcycle guys should not be, like, catcher guys. I guess they move faster, but... Oh, God. The tank guys are, are much easier to control, but... <laughs> it doesn't seem to help us. God, I can't believe this. You know, if this were Blades of Steel, I would have gotten in so many fist fights by now. Like, when I'm losing in a video game, uh, I'm just sort of like, let's just have some fun with it. Like, all I want to do is get in robot fights, and I can't even do that. It's, it's utterly disappointing. So yeah, I guess, I guess honestly, as cool as this game looks and stuff, and I do kind of remember liking it as a kid, I must have not liked this game. I can't imagine enjoying this. I'm like losing by like 30 points. It's like sad at this point. Um, and I think they just, I think they just got another run on us. This is insane. I don't even know if we're going to bother finishing the, the nine innings here, because like, what is the point? Can there be like a mercy rule? Is there a mercy rule in baseball where if you're losing by like 50 points, they just call the game? Like what would actually happen? If there was actually a baseball game going this badly for one team, do you think at some point they would literally just call it? Um, like the, maybe the other team would just start intentionally getting a bunch of strikes and stuff because they're like, look, we're winning by 50 points. We just want to go home. We don't want to keep playing. <laughs> it's 10 o'clock at night. It's been three hours on this inning. Can we just call it? I, you know what? I would actually love to see that game. I, I, I wonder if that probably doesn't exist anywhere. But like, imagine, imagine a game where a team was losing this badly. Like, like they literally, it's just like every time somebody comes to bat, they score. I don't even know how much they scored. Like, I don't even, I don't even care anymore. I don't even care. I'm not going to pick that ball up. Why? Why would I pick it up? Just to lose somewhere? Oh, fine. I guess I have to. Oh, man. Oh, I'll just throw it at the wall. Yeah, my, my team is in such disarray. Like, morale's at an all-time low. Where's the pitcher, even? Oh, was that guy the pitcher? Who's the pitcher? Do we have a pitcher? There he is. Right? Yeah, there he is. All right. Oh, boom. Another home run. Like, the ball's not even on the screen. How was I supposed to catch that? The ball's literally not on the screen. None of my guys are on the screen. What the F am I supposed to do? This is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. Oh, God. Just 
Like, let's see how high the computer can score on me, I guess, is the game we're playing now. They have two outs, and for the life of me, I cannot get them to, like, effing go out. Boom. There you go. Strike. We did it. We gotta change. What's the score now? I bet it's 30. 27! They got 14 goddamn runs on me. Are you effing insane? This is nuts. This is nuts. Oh my god, strike, strike. I'm gonna be out in two seconds. Two seconds. They're gonna catch that. Don't think they won't. Oh, they didn't. But mercy. They have, they're having mercy on me or something. Oh, they caught that. So there, one guy's out. Yeah. My god. You know what I, you know what I should do is just play a match where it's just like two humans and leave the other controller on the floor. Like, uh, right, they're gonna catch that. Oh, they didn't! Bases are somewhat loaded. Oh. <laughs> okay, here we go. Kaboom! Oh, they're totally catching that. Out, out. Yeah, change over. Zero! I got zero on that! <laughs> they got 14. 5, 8, 14. They're getting better! They're getting better! Alright, this is this is the last one, man. I, I don't think I can go nine innings here. This is just... What do you mean, ball? Your your ball, your balls of this game, computer. Oh God, I missed it too. I mean, okay, I I fully acknowledge that uh, you could get better at this game than me. There, there's definitely. Oh, we finally caught a ball. Oh, and we're fighting. Yes. All right, time to fight, buddy. Machine gun versus sword. Yes, I'm just. <laughs> this is. I'm taking all my aggression out on this guy. Oh man, I didn't even let him fall. I just shot him until he was like a bloody pulp of circuits and, and I don't know. W where's my guy? Oh, hello. Oh, good. The guy got the guy got to third base before you decided to show up, you worthless scumbag. Okay. You know what's happening after this game is the owner of these robots, he's taking them into the back room with a sledgehammer and he's gonna smash them to bits. I just imagine the owner in the stands watching this, the owner of my team, being like, you robot pieces of trash, I'm going to smash you to garbage. Because you guys suck at baseball. Hopefully these robots aren't sentient. They don't have, like, emotions or anything. Where's my guy? Where's my guy? Where? Where's my guy? What the heck? I, I, I'm pressing all the directions. Hello? Somebody? Okay, this this is this is seriously a joke. I don't know how to Okay, I can pause the game. Oh there he is! Oh my god, that was insane! That was insane. I think my team is throwing the match intentionally now. I'm, I am pretty sure that they're intentionally throwing the game. They're <laughs> just like we we don't wanna play we we hate this as much as you. We hate this as much as you. Why did my pitcher run for the ball? Oh my god. I, you know what, I'm sure there's other buttons or something that I don't know about. No, like, so there's the only button that does anything, A throws, and it, the computer automatically selects what robot you're going to pick. It's weird. Like, B, you think B would let you pick a different robot from the outfield or something, but no. Boom. That sucked. At least I'm not out yet. Oh, now I'm out. <laughs> no, now I'm out too. Oh my god, the catcher from behind me caught the ball that I hit in front of me, and he's gonna catch that one too. Oh my god. Oh my god, this is so bad. Okay, you know what, guys? Reset! Forget it! That didn't happen. Oh my god, Cyber Stadium Series. Oh my god. Oh my god. So, you know what's funny is, like, when you were a kid, when I was a kid, and I would rank games... You would, like, look on the shelf for, like, a good game. And I, I'm sure I looked at the cover box for this game. I was like, wow, this game looks awesome. Um, and I grabbed it. I took it home and played it. And I must have had this experience. There's no way the computer didn't get, like, 30 points on me. Like, I, was, I wasn't better at baseball video games when I was a kid than I am now. Um, but I remember liking the fighting. It's funny because this is totally a rental game in the sense of, like, when you rented games as a kid, you had no idea if they were going to be good or, or, or not. And, like, 70% of the time, they ended up not being good. Because there's a lot of, like, Nintendo games that aren't that good, to be honest. Um, but, you know, like, once in a while, like, that other 30% of the time, you'd find an absolute gem. Because there are some NES games that are just awesome. 
But this, I think this is totally a rental game in the sense of like, you don't want to pay more than five bucks to play this game for a weekend because <laughs> after playing it for what, 20 minutes? Oh man, I was getting pummeled there. I was getting pummeled, like just demolished. Um, you know what I kind of want to do though? I kind of want to see what happens when the game actually ends. Um, you can also team edit. What does that do? Edit team A. Oh, you can actually like edit them. You can like name them and stuff. Interesting, you can probably like set up their rosters. Hold on, let's go to play ball. Sure, we'll pick the San Francisco Mans versus the Boston AIs. And let's just reduce this down to one inning. Just one inning, mano a mano. And let's just, let's just see. I just want to see what happens at the end here. Okay, so you, you just bear with me for a second while I strike out here. I actually, I'm, I'm still gonna try because I can't help but not but try. But uh, yeah, this this is uh, I you're like don't expect me to win. That's for sure. Go 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 go! He's out and he's out. So we got two outs right off the bat. Right off the bat. That's a little uh, sports analogy for you guys, and I'm sure they're gonna catch this too. Yeah, he's out. Um, this, you know, this game would be a hell of a lot more fun playing against a human. If I was playing this with a friend, I think this game would be a totally different game. Playing against, uh, I, whoa, I, I can't believe my guy actually caught that. Playing against an AI is just like unfair because the AI is like so good. But playing against another human, I could see this game being like a hoot, like being uh, tons of fun, tons of fun. Actually, it kind of makes me want to come back and play this someday with a human. Because I bet if I played this against a person, we could get in all sorts of shenanigans and fights and stuff like that. And it would be actually pretty fun. Um, oh my god, we actually tied it up? Oh my god, we're going into extra innings. Oh, don't worry, we're... Uh, if you thought I was going to get a home run and actually score... I don't think I've, I've scored a single point, by the way, in this game. It's just like, my turn is like, I'm just continually out. It's just like how my life goes as a robot. Uh, I mean, this would be about as, as accurate as anything. If I were to actually try and play like professional sports, this is about as good. Oh my God, I got a home run. I scored a point. I scored a point. Oh, happy day. There's, I, I feel like I won. There, there's, there's really no other reason to keep playing at this point. I, I got a point. I got a point. You know what, if I could somehow shut the computer out at this point, I could actually... Oh my god, I scored another point! What is happening? What is happening? Oh my god. If I could shut the computer out, I could actually win. So here's here's the only way I win at, at uh, Base Wars. Play a one inning game, get one point, and then just pray that you can somehow keep the computer from scoring on their turn. So I got a bit of leeway. I got two points. That's okay. I'm out. Let's get, let's get to the, the final showdown here. If I can keep the computer from scoring, then I win. Oh, it's not looking good. It's not looking good. Where's my guy? Okay. Well, they got one guy on a base. Okay. So we have to pretty much not let him. Where's my guy? Catch that. And boom! Oh my god, we got two guys out! This is it! Oh god, where's my guy? Where's my guy? Boom. Okay, we just need to get one more out. One more out and we win the game. Guys, do you believe? Is it a Super Bowl miracle? Yes! Oh! And! Oh, we got them all out! It's a Super Bowl miracle! I actually won! I actually won! Okay, maybe you can get better at this game, I guess. I guess. Oh, I, I was expecting like a victory screen. The whole reason I did this is I wanted to see a victory screen or right, whatever. Here, just uh, for for uh, our continued enjoyment, we'll do a computer on computer match. And uh, while I wrap up this video, we can actually watch some gameplay here. Um, I think the computer's just gonna, oh my God, it didn't catch it? It didn't catch it? That's insane, ball. Like this is an actual match. I feel like the computer plays way faster than a human would. Like, oh, and we, oh my God. Oh, there's like a sword and ninja biking. Oh, that was such a one-sided fight. The blue guy didn't even stand a chance. Stop, stop, he's already dead. Jeez. 
That red guy was full of rage. He just wanted to do nothing but smash the blue team in bits. Maybe he was so mad because his team was winning by like 40 points and then I like ended it so they didn't even get to their ninth inning. Meanwhile, I, I asked for a rematch and then once I was winning, I like ended the game. Such a cheap move. Oh my God, the computer sucks at catching. Those motorcycle guys actually really suck. Um, like the momentum makes it really hard to catch anything. Like the, co the computer's having so much trouble catching balls and I'm pretty sure it's because they have motorcycle people in the outfield. What you want are tanks. Look, look, he didn't even, it, he was right there. He didn't catch that. Um, or the other alternative is maybe the computer's taking it easy on itself. Um, it, it's being gentle on the, the blue team there. Anyway, uh, Base Wars here is, you know, it, it's hard as hell, but uh, you know what? I, I was even getting a little better by the uh, by the the second go around there. I think I won on the technicality. I don't think I was actually like that much improved. I kind of got quite lucky to be honest, but I did win, and you guys can't take that away from me. I think that uh, I think that for this game, obviously, you need practice to get better at it and stuff. It is a really cool idea that uh, the robots fight one another, but it does seem to occur more rarely than you'd think. Like, it would be kind of cool if there was more frequent fighting. Um, like, the robots could have fought there for the base, but they didn't even bother. Uh, oh, by the way, I didn't even realize I picked Toronto. San Francisco versus Toronto. Um, that's kind of funny. Um, so I wish the robot fighting was more frequent. Um, I also wish, like, when the ball flies off into the outfield, honestly, like, the computer knows where its outfield people are. I have no effing clue. And sometimes the ball flies into the outfield so fast that it goes off camera. So not only is your guy off camera, but the ball's off camera. That is ridiculously stupid and just badly designed, I'll say. Like, how are you supposed to have any chance of catching a ball? Uh, when it goes off camera like you just got to do it blind you don't even know where your guy is um so i think that um you know as far as the mechanics of the game like it felt solid except for the outfield stuff i felt like it was badly designed in that way so you know cyberball i mean it is what it is um it is a good uh, rental game you know back in the day if you'd rented this uh over the weekend you wanted to play with a friend um i could see this being quite fun and actually Actually, I am putting this on my list to one day come back to and I'll play it with like Jordan or Brandon or somebody and we'll sit down and we'll actually play this because I could actually see this game being quite hilarious for two people. Against the computer, yeah, but against a person this could be fun. So um, anyway, uh, you know, Super Bowl's right around the corner. If you're into that, uh, you know, I hope it's everything that, you know, you dreamed of. I don't really, you know, keep up with sports myself, as I say, but, you know, I, I like to get in on the atmosphere of it, so we played some base wars. Uh, we'll have another video coming out in a couple days. I'll make that one sports-related, too. I think it'll be the day after the Super Bowl, but what the heck, why not? Um, anyway, guys, um, whatever you think of base wars here, I, I hope you guys had fun today. I hope it was sort of fun watching me fumble around with the game. I know I'm not the best at every game I play, and uh, I do feel bad if... You search for me on YouTube and you're like, oh, sweet, Base Wars, I want to see somebody play this. And then you watch me play and you're like, oh, God, he's so bad. So, I mean, you know, I'm just a dude playing Nintendo games. I'm no superhuman, amazing guy who's good at every game. But, uh, you know, I do try to enjoy them. I do try to have some fun with them. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> stop, stop. He's already dead. Why do they just do that? I mean, I did it for fun because I'm a, a person who has emotions, but a computer should be like, enemy has been deactivated, and then just stop attacking. Um, I think the fights, by the way, also are a little basic. Like, as cool as the idea of robo-fighting is, oh, we get another one. Um, it's sort of like one guy just gets the advantage, and then the other guy just loses. So there, there's not much complexity to it. This game could have been amazing if it were redone properly, I think. Because the concept behind it is great. But anyway, yes. Uh, so I, I hope you had fun. Uh, I hope my terrible gameplay wasn't a turn off. Um, and I hope that we all just enjoyed ourselves reminiscing over some NES. Anyway, guys, until next time, uh, take care of yourselves. And uh, we'll see you soon. Alrighty. Peace. Where's my guy? Where's my guy?